Let's just take a moment and uh, do a short video on writing a prompt and how you can add to it to make it more detailed. I'm uh, using the uh, chat GPT-4 version here and I'm going to go in and I want this uh, human written 100% uh, unique SEO optimized article. So let's just click on that and as you can see here that adds in uh, and this is from the, the AI PRM suggested prompts and as you can see it adds right here human written uh, so it will write it according to these guidelines. So let's put in uh, uh, just uh, uh, a simple step by step guide to writing Prompts. And let's see what we get. And it should be so it's giving us an outline. And remember, it will remember your what you've written previously in this particular prompt. It won't go back through all of your prompts. It just goes with the one that you're you're working with. And it does store that to where you can go over here and click on and reopen it and continue on. But this is doing just with that just a simple prompt. It really uh, is giving a pretty detailed step-by-step -step guide, but let's go, let's see what we have here. Now let's say we want to expand on this, and we have the uh, article itself. Well, let's say we want to uh, expand on additional tools and resources, so let's copy that. And put in these expand on this. And then paste in. And hit the little arrow there, and it will give you a deeper part to the article. So you can take that if you want to do a more expanded article, you can open your notepad and go up here. You can go into, uh, let's see here, so you can actually copy and paste the entire article, bring your notepad back up, and paste that in. And you can go down here. Paste that in to the notebook. Just like that. So then that gives you a longer article that you can 
work with. And you can change it around, you can highlight, you can copy sections, change it however you want it to read, add your own personal touches to it, and that quickly you've produced a article that you can use for a blog post, you can use for most anything, you can uh, actually write a chapter in a book by just expanding on all of that. So that gives you an idea of what you can do with, with the prompts. But as I said, the more detailed you, you are with them, the um, better Just go simple and simple. So let's say make an image of the sun and doesn't give any details. It's creating it though. So let's see what we have and then we'll see if we can refine it a little bit. Okay, there's a picture, picture of the sun, uh, which may be fine for what you wanted to do, but please redo and add the sun shining down on a country landscape with cows. So I've added more detail to it and we'll see what we get here. But when you add more details you get a better image of what you specifically want. There you go. There's the sun. There's the country landscape. And there's the cows. So just what we just what we ask for. So it's pretty amazing. You can do the same thing with your writing. Uh, you can put uh, uh, story in once upon a time blah, blah, blah. see it's giving you just a very basic story so let's expand on that a little bit and the story about an old man who lives on a farm and raises chickens. I live in a rural area, so I think country. Uh, who raises chickens and loves having children visit him and his chickens. So now it's much more detailed. So now it's going to write about more specifically, a man that lives on a farm, likes children, talks about the chickens and the children, and there you have a story. And that could make a, a wonderful, you can break it into pieces, and let me 
bring up the pad here again, notepad, and paste it in. And you could take sections of this out. And let's say Henry's farmhouse. that, cut it, and you could use that for like a children's book to create Paste that in, and it should give us an image of what Henry's farmhouse would look like to go with the children's story. There we go. So that's what Henry's farmhouse would look like. If you don't like that, you can just type in redo. a brick house. There you go. So the more specific you make your, your prompt, the more detailed, the more details you have in it the better stories you're going to get, the better images you're going to get. And remember, it is, it, it's, it's a science in how it does it, but it's an art form in how you write your prompts and put them in. So that gives you a, a pretty good idea of how by adding details, you'll end up getting better stories and your prompts are going to write, uh, write better. You'll end up with better stories and better images that you can use. But I can, I can envision that being a, a children's, a children's story, uh, and then you can create different images and turn it into actually a children's book. So just a marvelous uh, thing that you can do with the uh, just controlling the prompts and making them as specific as possible.